<laughs> Good morning, everybody, from the gas station. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little before seven. We have hit the gas station to fill up the tank because we have an ambitious morning. We are actually hitting all 18 stops on the Butler County Sweet Tooth Trail. Yeah, they just added some new stops and thanks to Butler County and Visit Butler County, uh, they've coordinated this whole day for us. So essentially our first stop is at eight o'clock and we go until we've hit the 18th and then we head home and with a full belly and a fun day under our belt. So Mr. Locke's pumping gas, there he is. And um, other than that, you know, a huge thank you to Visit Butler County uh, for having us on the Sweet Tooth Trail. And there are some really fun stops. There are some stops that you wouldn't expect. So there's like a Dairy Queen, that's basically the only kind of super chain that's on this uh, trail. There's Baldinger's, which is one of my favorite candy places ever. There's just some really cool, you know, mom and pop shops, everything from ice cream to pastries and donuts. And we are very excited. So without further ado, we'll see you at the first stop. All right, we made it to the first stop. Peace, love, and little donuts. Now the original location is in the Strip District in downtown Pittsburgh. They have a new location here, new-ish location here in Cranberry Township. So let's go in and see what they have to offer. Stop one. Okay. In case you haven't been inside, this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. They are really little donuts, aren't they? Oh, and here is what the Sweet Tooth Trail card looks like. And when you come in, you get it stamped. So we'll show you what all about that. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick pan. Oh, thanks. So, oh, yum. Fruity Pebble sounds good. Look at all these flavors. Raspberry lemonade. What is your most popular flavor? Uh, they pretty much go from here there. So, awesome. cinnamon roll, salted caramel, macchiato. Okay. Being upside down. Yeah, no worries. So, these are actually in sections. So, there's donuts, candy mm -hmm. shops, bakeries, and ice cream and frozen yogurt. Yum. There we go. First stop down. Okay, it's just a little before 8.30 and we are at our second stop, Tin Man Suites in Harmony, Pennsylvania. So it's just outside of Zelianople and that's where I used to live when I was young. Oh my gosh, look at the goodies. Oh my gosh, that cherry lime tart looks amazing. Fruit tart, oof, I want one of everything. Okay. Oh, any idea what you want? All of it. I know, I think I want I don't know what I want. Everything looks good. Yeah, that cinnamon roll, that double chocolate muffin. Oh my gosh. This, look at that. Look how beautiful it is. And this looks really good, this rhubarb tart. Their prices are really affordable too. Two fifty for that big honking. I don't have a banana for scale. <laughs> but trust me, that's huge. Okay, so we finally decided. A cinnamon roll for Mr. Locke, and then I couldn't decide, so I'm getting the double chocolate muffin and this cherry lime tart because look how beautiful it is. I, you know, when in doubt, take both. <laughs> All, right. All right, and there we go. Made it to stop number three. We're still in Harmony, Pennsylvania, and this is Two Frau's Bakery. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna turn the camera around because it, this is such a quaint little city, isn't it? Isn't it adorable? Yeah. Look how sweet this is. Oh, I like the bikes. And it's just right here. All right, so everything here is made from scratch. Yeah. Yum, vacation yeah, cookie. Recipes. We like to twist things up a little bit, put the fry crisp on them. These are filled with chocolate, chocolate okay, which is, it is, it's a, it's not a pastry crust. It's a nice, dead sweet crust. And it's filled with chocolate. This fruit schnecken today is orange marmalade sweet water Ooh. And then of course the cinnamon. That is a big giant cinnamon roll. All right, official stamp. Number three. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know. I'm not even mad. So <laughs> I love that. So we have gotten a cinnamon roll, a chocolate chip cookie, because these are the biggest best sellers. And then I wanted to try vacation cookie because I've never heard of it before. And you have a little shop of horrors plant, and oh my gosh. This is Audrey too. Ambitious Mr. Locke is already ahead of me, and our fourth stop is PB Sweets and Eats, right there. 
This is really cute. Oh boy. More cinnamon rolls. Oh my gosh. Pecan cinnamon rolls maybe? Donuts. Sure. Well, I feel like hand pies are, are unique to your location. So we have to try a couple. We're going to do the coconut one and then this peanut butter one with the peanut butter chips. Thank Stamp you. number four. You have a gorgeous place. Thank you so much. Very so quaint. I appreciate that. Thank you. There we go. All right. Okay, four stops down. How many to go? Can I do my math? 14 to go, and we are actually ahead of schedule. So we have made a pit stop here in Sheets, kind of in between Evans City and uh, Zillian Opal. Uh, we've got a half an hour, so we're actually going to try a couple of these treats. I'm really excited. Those hand pies look amazing. All of the cinnamon rolls look so good. Um, our next stop is actually at a candy store, and it opens at 10 a.m. So we have about 25 minutes to just kind of hang out and enjoy some sweets. So. Our next check-in will be stop five. Stop number five. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Wender, Wenderoosis. We'll make sure we uh, get the pronunciation right when we go inside. Can you believe this is number five already? Oh, this is adorable. They just opened, so they opened at 10, and I think we hit, hit it right at 10. Look how cute, mm, jelly bellies. This is adorable, isn't it? Old school candy. Oh yeah. I that wow, caramel apple cowtails. I love cowtails. These are my favorite ones. What? Big League Chew. Wow, Pop Rocks. Mm. So cute. Look at all the pez, honey. Oh, Timon. Lion King. Dorian Nemo. Wow, they have Fozzie Bear. It's really cool. Now, I know, darling, you don't like these, but man, do I love these. Oh, that reminds me of my childhood licorice, red, or black licorice, but these kind with like, they almost are, they're not marzipan, but there's some sort of coating on either side. Yum. Even the old school gum. Mmm. I've had black jackets. I think that's the licorice one. Clove. You would like that. Have you ever had that? Okay. We're going with the dark chocolate turtle. Look how adorable that is. And... Mr. Lauk had this one time in DC, right at the bar, what is it, Nation's Capital Barbecue Cook-Off? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But he's trying the chocolate covered bacon. <laughs> that is really good. Is it? I like the contrast with the um, salty and the chocolate at the same time. Well, I can hear, with the pretzels. Yeah. I can hear how crunchy the bacon mm -hmm. is, so let's see. That's a big fat piece of bacon too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. I'm gonna run into some, um, Okay, stamp number five. Look at us. Wow, we're almost halfway there. Okay, we are officially a third of the way done. We are at stop number six and we're right on time. It's just around 1030. We are at Valencia Donuts in Valencia, Pennsylvania. So let's go in and see what they have to offer. They close early. They close at 11. So we've got to get in there and check it out. Exactly let's go. Right. All right, we're um, getting them stamped right now because we are next in line. And uh, there we go. You are number six on our trail. <laughs> You're a third. We're officially a third of the way done today. All right. So in a super quick nutshell, you get to customize every donut that you make here. And I love that. So we'll just go through the steps. So you choose your donuts. Then if you want a filling or not, and then you pick the icing and they have seven different kinds. Then you can put sprinkles, nuts, cinnamon, sugar, coconut on it. And then I do a filled one and I get to choose between vanilla and chocolate oh, and well, blueberry. Yeah. Any donut flavor we can fill. So you pick your donut flavor first. Let's do vanilla. And then, do you want the raspberry jelly or Bavarian cream? Ooh, I think I want Bavarian cream, please. Okay. Donut okay. with chocolate icing and cinnamon sugar on top. Ooh, I bet that's going to be good. It's going to be like churros. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm, churros. So this one isn't getting filled. This is a oh, fun well, process. You didn't, you didn't want a filling, right? Right. No, that's why I said it's not getting filled. Okay. Yeah. And look at that. Yum. Oh, thank you guys. Stop number seven. And we are officially in Mars, Pennsylvania. Look at that spacecraft. I was actually here for the Mars exploration celebration. They have it every year ish and man, is it fun. They close off all of these main roads here and it is hilarious. All right. So just for reference, there is the clock and it is about seven after 11 and we are headed right across the street. Mars Candyland. Look how adorable. 
very Willy Wonka-esque, but of course, with aliens. Just give you a quick peek around. Old school candy again, you know I'm not mad. Oh, and this is Sparky. Okay, who's my age and remembers these? They're filled with powder. What? <laughs> I make little candy bouquets, so that's for you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. What is this kindness board? What is this kindness board? So it's for people to come and... So the, a lot of the kids, we found out, didn't have enough money to purchase candy. So we started the kindness candy board. It's utilized every day by kids and adults. If adults need it, they take it. They bring back a dollar. You know, it just, everybody kind of shares the board. Stop number eight is in Saxonburg, and we are at the Speckled Hen Candy Shop. It's really pretty on the outside. It's actually a beautiful location. Look how pretty. Ooh, it smells good. Look at all the chocolate. Yum. Chocolate covered olives and pickles. So that's what I was going to send you away with, but if you would rather try like an olive or a pickle or something unique, bacon. Mm -hmm. um, you're welcome to. Actually, I kind of want to try one of these. So this is one of their big <laughs> sellers. It's chocolate covered raspberries and strawberries. Yeah. These yeah. look really, really good. A quick check-in. Speckled hen. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh, their chocolate the is cool so good. That they have in there. Yeah, and what we learned is that you never know what you're gonna find. So they do have like their staples and everybody, like their favorites people love, but they they try and be creative. So like the pickles and the olives. I just tried like a raspberry cordial <laughs> and they melt in your mouth. They're kept in the fridge. They have some really cool like dried apples with caramel and chocolate on them. So, so good. Uh, uh, voodoo chips with uh, Yeah, chocolate. voodoo chips. They make their own fudge. Um, those nuts and bolts. So cute. What a cute idea. A bag of nuts with chocolate bolts in it. Chocolate mm -hmm. bolts. Um, and they also do gift baskets. So Butler County gift baskets. It mm -hmm. has a bunch of different local um, foodie finds, right? From Butler County. So guys, we are taking a break. It's 1143. We're going to take a break and get some lunch because, oh my gosh, I need regular food. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will see you at stop number Nine. Nine. We'll be halfway through. Yeah. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, baby, we have made it. We are officially halfway. halfway there. And we are at Megan's Main Street Bake Shop and Dessert Bar, Main Street, Saxonburg. Halfway, nine, stop number nine, nine more to go. Well, that's a delightful little bell. Let's give you a pan. Look how cute. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Let's see what you have. Oh, my. Oh yeah, we're talking decadent. Yum. I don't even know what those are and they look good. They have brownies and thumbprint cookies. That's what these are, I found out. So what do you think? Is that a lemon bar? Yes. May we do that? Yeah, thanks. Yay, they're open. <laughs> <laughs> and look, they have a cute little counter. Okay, so we heard that the strawberry shortcake down here and then any of these angels are the best sellers. So we went with, of course, a strawberry shortcake and one of those Boston angels. Yum. Thank you so much. You're All right, stop 10, done. Stop 11. We are officially two thirds of the way done. Another stop in Butler is Peter's Chocolate Shop. Look how cool, established 1938. Wow, I cannot wait to see what's inside. Oh, if we had smell-o-vision, my goodness. Oh, it smells good. And I just ate lunch, and now I'm hungry again. Look at how beautiful. Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, nonpareils. Oh, boy. So we are here, stop number 11 at Peter's, and oh my gosh, we're trying the chocolate-covered strawberries and chocolate-covered raspberries. And they have them both in milk and dark, but I'm a dark chocolate lover, so we're going with the dark. Stamp 11, right on. Cute. Okay, this one is officially stop number 12 and we are officially two thirds of the way done through the trail. Just to give you a little time stamp here, it's 144. And I am so excited to come to this place because I have been here before on a press tour and it is hilariously cool. And they have the coolest ice cream treats, I guess. So it's like a, a slushy with a scoop of ice cream in it and it is really good. You haven't had it yet. I haven't. You've got to try it. 
Okay, are you ready? Let's are you go. ready for the coolest building you will ever see yet? Sure. Let's go to the snowman. All right, these are the sizes of the cups. Yeah. Small, medium, large, like colossal, yeah. right? And I, then they all do mound up a little bit too. Yeah, okay, I feel like we'll go with this size. 16? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And we're gonna go with a unicorn ice with ice cream. So a unicorn Yeti. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. Yeah, vanilla, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. Anything else for you guys? No, sir. Here we go. Stamp number 12. I could stamp it. You're kind of embossing it? No, you're, you're, you're um, erasing it. <laughs> okay, one. Oh, it's a snowflake. How cute. Okay. Oh my gosh. Thank you. May I have another spoon? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. I'll just. Have a good day. Wow. Look at this, guys. Honey, look. What do you think? Is that not the coolest? Look at it. It has a mane. It has a mane and a horn. Like I said, there's a scoop of vanilla ice cream, a rainbow snow cone, and oh my gosh, we have a horn and a mane. Are you excited? Just... I'm stuck. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Look at that ice cream slushy. Okay, quick pit stop. We were actually, hi. How's it going? <laughs> Very well, thank you. So we are actually in the Butler County Visitors Bureau and we are early. We've been really speedy, hey, not busy. intentionally, but I mean, we just made it here early and we have some time. So I thought I would show off the actual Visitors Bureau, show you what it looks like. It's a beautiful kind of mansion style home and it's gorgeous. So. You can come in here and get all the information you need about Butler County, all the information on the Sweet Trail. Um, what else, Tiffany? Hi, Tiffany. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what else? And if they need to know anything, where to eat, where to go, where to stay, you're all about it. Yeah, right? absolutely. You can get everything that you need to learn here about Butler County. And if you haven't already, please pick up one of our visitor guides. It will tell you all the things that you can do here, places to stay, places to eat, all about our Sweet Tooth Trail. We also have a beer circuit. So there's really something for everybody here. We've done the beer trail. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's waving his, <laughs> nodding his head happily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's where you would come to, to redeem your prize, right? After all 18. Oh, and they're so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. So guys, next stop is the Ice Box. Ice Box. Main Street, Zealian Opal. So we'll see you soon. Okay, here we are. Stop number 13, Ice Box. They home make their ice cream every day. Prices, look at all of the different kinds of ice cream. Oh my gosh, how would you even choose? Okay, so after much debate, tiramisu. We almost got the coffee Oreo because I have never seen that on a menu before. But tiramisu, yum, little afternoon pick me up. Here's what it looks like, guys. I'm gonna turn around so you can see it in the light because it really is beautiful. Stop number 13. Oh man. Oh, honey, you're gonna love this. That's amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there we go. Where are we upside down? Nope. There we go. Number 14, Baldinger's Food from All Nations. One of my favorite, if not the favorite, licorice candy shop. Uh oh. Somebody lost change. Look how cool it is. This is my table, the black licorice. The only person in my family that likes it, apart from my mama. I think I inherited her love of black licorice trait. Look how cool they have all kinds of old school candy. This is super fun. And they have some old school candy over here, like Big League Chew. I haven't seen a lot of that. Mmm, zeros. Yum. And my daughter Molly, this is her favorite table, the gummy bears. She absolutely loves them. They're always super duper fresh, super duper good. Okay, check in. 310, 14 down. <laughs> Four to go. Mister who just ate that whole ice cream cone down at the ice box. Oh. It was good. Yeah, it was good. I'm pacing myself because we have three more ice cream shops to go. But Baldinger's, man. 
Oh, come on, the black licorice. I'll make you a fan yet. <laughs> so guys, we are doing really well. We started at eight. So seven hours in and 14 down. <laughs> and uh, four more to go. Okay, what's our next stop? Our next stop appears to be... It's the creamery. It's about two miles around. <laughs> two miles away, right? The Meadows. And here we are, the Meadows Creamery. Truth be told, when I lived up in this area, this plaza didn't even exist. So I'm excited to see it. The menu. Gelatis, frozen layer. Mmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna go with is one of those gelatis. So essentially you pick a frozen custard flavor and then you pick um, a uh, Italian ice flavor. So I went with traditional vanilla frozen custard and I'm doing root beer Italian ice so that we'll get like a kind of a root beer float type of situation. Okay, stamps number 15. Where are we? We're down here, right there. Yum! Well, that's adorable. We got a small one because guys, you know we have been eating all day. All right, let's go try it. Thank you so much. Okay guys, I have never had Italian ice <laughs> and custard before. Oh man, root beer Italian ice is good. If you have had root beer Italian ice, let me know in the comments because I have never had it. I didn't even know it existed and it is so good. All right, stop number 16. This is the one super chain. Dairy Queen, Grill, and Chill. It's right on Route 19, um, almost in between Cranberry Township and Zealy, closer to Cranberry Township. Uh, we are excited. This is, like I said, stop 16, and it's starting to rain. See, you can see up through there. So uh, we're gonna make this a quick one. And Look at the watermelon cake. Mm, ice cream cakes are my favorite. <laughs> so we are so, so full. We're gonna have a mini blizzard and the flavor of the month is chocolate chip cookie. Can you see that? Yeah, chocolate chip cookie. So we're just gonna go with a teeny little one. Ready? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Number 16. No, I'll just share this Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, Bye. Okay, I am really excited about this one. Not that I haven't been excited about the others, but I have never had a chance to try this kind of ice cream before. So they make it really thin and then use like a scraper and it turns into these cool rolls. So we are at Natural Roll in Cranberry Township. Yay, stop number. Uh, I don't have enough fingers. 17. 17. <laughs> one more to go after this, guys. And here it is. Mm, yum, I thought I wasn't hungry. <laughs> Ice cream oh, you see this and you won't be. Okay. Video or it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> number 17. Yay! All right, here's the main menu. And I was just told that number two, Cookie Monster, number seven, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and number 10, S'mores, are like the trifecta of popularity. So we're gonna go with number seven Reese's Cup because you can never go wrong with peanut butter and chocolate. Look how adorable. You need a freezer table. Right. And then look. You know what this reminds me of? Hibachi. Hey, kind yeah. of. BD's Mongolian Grill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> peanut butter puffs. And if that wasn't decadent enough, <laughs> chocolate and peanut butter sauce in the middle. <laughs> and then? And then? It was just the one. One left, and we are in the parking lot, guys. 18. 18. 18. So if I could just give a little advice. <laughs> if you're going to do this in one day, you're truly gonna have to pace yourself and get the smallest amount. We just had a couple of bites kind of everywhere we went, apart from the whole ice cream that you just ate a little bit ago. But it was really good. So you get a mulligan on that. Also take note, 18 locations, and we are eight hours and 15 minutes into this. 8.15 and we didn't dawdle. No. We kinda, we didn't hustle either. We just went at our, our own pace, but I wasn't speeding, nor was I, we just went to each place. I think that the way that the Butler County Tourism uh, Bureau gave us 
the the map mm -hmm. was perfect because we kind of started in cranberry and ended in cranberry so it right. was like a full loop um having said that again guys pace yourself and after we hit this place we are going to show you what the prize is so nothing but cakes in cranberry township number 18. and here we go nothing but cakes <laughs> you can't do more ice cream? No, we've got cakes. And just kind of to get your bearings, that's Route 19 and Freedom Road is just right there. And look at that storm coming, so we gotta get in. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. So we'll take a quick pan around and check out, check out the goodies. Look how sweet. These are so cute. Gosh, there we go, guys. 18. 18. 18 stamps. <laughs> In one day, here you go. Hold that. So, what do you suggest that we get? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we went with two of the top flavors, went with lemon and a white chocolate raspberry, and we are actually gonna take these home because Mr. Locke's poor belly can't handle anymore. No. <laughs> okay, and here's the prize. So for completing all 18 stops, you get this super adorable little candy jar that says visitbutlercounty.com, and it's filled, pardon me turning this around, with old school candy, and then you also get and it's inside here, a $5 Your Sweet gift certificate to use at any one of these 18 stops when you go back. How fun is that? So cute, right? Yeah, for when we do it again. Are you gonna do it again tomorrow? Yes. Okay. So guys, that's it, we are done. It took us eight hours and 20 minutes because it is 4.20. Um, <laughs> so eight hours and 20 minutes of driving around Butler County, but it was a beautiful drive. The roads were perfect. We traffic was great. We didn't hit any of that um, traffic that's notorious on, uh, what it's, is it, 19? Well, Cranberry is starting to get busy because, mm. you know, rush hour is coming. But I cannot thank Visit Butler County enough for helping coordinate this. I had a blast. It was this so This has much been fun. so much fun. I would do this again. I don't know that I would do 18 again, but I, I would definitely do a few stops in a day every time we come up. Well, I was going to say, I would do 18 again, but not in a day. Yeah. I mean, every shop that we went in, they couldn't be nicer to us. They couldn't be more kind and more considerate and they helped us. We asked what the big top sellers were and they were happy to tell us because you know, if, if it's your first time in, you may not have a clue what to order. So, wow, we did it. Are we gonna go home and have a nap? Definitely, <laughs> it's definitely nap time. <laughs> so guys, that'll do, oh wow, it was windy out. Look at this hair. It's just like, wee -lee 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 -lee. that will do it for our one day, 18 stop, Butler County Sweets Trail, right? Wow, that was fun. Celery and water. Celery and water for the next week? <laughs> Actually, probably not, not yeah. Sunday, until Sunday. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you like us, subscribe to our channel because we love putting fun videos out like this. What else? Oh, if you have any questions or if you've done this trail, please leave us a comment below and let us know where your favorite place is or if you have tried any of the things that we tried because, you know, we would love to know what your favorites are. And until next time, that'll do it, right? Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.